basically why sack yeah basically why sack today i'll be teaching you guys how to make hash browns or flat chips if you're british or potato pancakes if you've killed someone recently the first and most important tip to making potato pancakes is to always put them through a strainer this ensures that all the nasty things that you don't want to eat on the potato get washed out and if they don't flush down or sink well you can feed them to the cats outside now get out your peeler and peel the potatoes fully Peeling can take a long time, so you can pick up these strategies like the quick peel, or the pound peel, but there are other strategies for different levels of peelers. Next, get out your grater and grate your potatoes. Now shred these potatoes on the large side of the grater. The reason that we use the big side is that, and that's why you need to strain your potatoes, ladies and gentlemen, or else things like these get into your hash browns. Now I'm a professional, and I can spot these discrepancies, but most people won't be able to, and will end up eating unfiltered hash browns, and no one wants those. Now place them into a tower and begin wringing out the excess water. Or well, if you really want to be efficient, use them to take out some of your pent up anger. I have the weekends, Karen. Open the towel up and let your potatoes get a nice tan. Meanwhile, heat up your pan to 200 degrees. And no, I'm not saying too fundo because that word can only be used in the context of an oven. Don't fact check that though. Throw your potatoes in there while giving them a good old wang jangle every now and then. Do you guys know that before McDonald's put hash browns on the menu, they were a common MRE for the Soviet Union? That's your basically fun fact of the day. Be sure to strain and save your oils so you can put it back in the container and return it to the store tomorrow. Now here's where we go from baby loser cooking to big dick Brian Master Chief extravaganza man. The second. Epilogue. Part 3. Season 5. The movie. Starring Will Smith. Featuring Carl Urban. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch which makes the hash browns go from... to... And if that made you uncomfortable, you're welcome. That'll be $5. Now since we're five years away from the perfect potato pancake press, we're going to have to improvise by stuffing our potatoes in a small bowl because using our human hands usually makes the potatoes crack while frying. I stole this from Outback and now they make for a great potato press. Shape them how you want and put them into the freezer while telling them a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a hash brown who lived a very happy and long life. The end. Wow, is this a true story? No, you die in two hours. <laughs> While waiting, I recommend doing something productive. I said productive. I am doing something productive. I'm watching the sponsor of this video. Me. I'm the sponsor of this video. I made this video possible. Be sure to subscribe to me. After at least two hours, bring your oil up to 350 degrees for deep frying. Place hash browns in the pan, flip when they're brown, and flip again when they're golden brown. Now this is the classic hash brown, but there are variations that you can make on them. For example, the hash round, the hash frown, the hash down, the hash gown, the hash crown, the hash drowned, and the hash noun. I don't know how to transition out of this. Don't play with knives, kids. Or do. I don't really give a shit.